So, next goes to another topic that is nothing but STEM. So, this STEM it develops from which portion of the embryonal axis of germinating seed. So, the stem always develops from plumule, the stem always develops from which one? Here it is developing from plumule. That means, I think this one is the germinating seed and think this one is the embryonal axis and think this one is radical and think this one is plumule. Now, can you tell me stem itself it is developing from either radical or either from plumule means stem itself developing from plumule only. As you know already that from radical root system is developing. So, here plumule develops into stem, plumule develops into which one here it is called as stem. Now, the stem is differentiated into nodes and internodes, yes the stem is differentiated into nodes and internodes. That means, think this one is the stem, think this one is the stem. Stem is differentiated into nodes and internodes, stem is differentiated into nodes and internodes, stem is differentiated into nodes and internodes. This line indicates that is nothing but node and this line also indicates that is nothing but node and whereas, the portion which is present in between two nodes it is called as internode, the portion present in between two nodes itself it is called as internode. Now, from the node area which one is developing, from the node area which important organ is developing that is nothing but from the node area vegetative lateral exogenous green flattened appendage that is nothing but leaf is developing. From the node area of the stem which one is developing means from the node area it, it is which one is developing means vegetative green flattened lateral appendage which is exogenously developed that part itself it is nothing but leaf, leaf it is one of the most important organ of the plant. Why? Because it plays an important role in photosynthesis due to which they can prepare their own food materials from the leaf only that food materials are transported towards various organs of the plant body. That means, they are transported towards the fruits also in order to store the food materials. Now, tell me what is meant by axle? The axle itself it indicates, axle it itself it indicates the upper angle between the leaf and the node of the stem is called as axle. What is meant by axial? Upper angle between the leaf and the node of the stem itself it is called as axial. In this axial, which one is present? Which one is developed from the axial? From this axial, axillary bud is developed. From this axial, which bud is developing here? Axillary bud is developing. That means, this axillary bud whether it is giving rise to branches, yes this axillary bud it gives rise to branches, axillary bud it gives rise to which one here? Branches. Now, see here the branches whether it is also differentiated into nodes and internodes means yes the branches are also differentiated into nodes and internodes. That means, from the branches from the node whether the leaves are developing, yes from the node of the branches also the leaves are getting originated, leaves are getting produced. That means, from this uh, node of the branches, uh, the leaves are produced. From the node of the branches, which one are developed? Leaves are produced. Now, can you tell me terminal bud whether it is present towards the tip of the stem and as well as tip of the branches? Yes, terminal bud is not only present towards the tip of the stem, it is also present towards the tip of the branches also. Why? Because the vertical growth of the stem is carried by means of terminal bud. And whereas, the horizontal growth of the branches it is also covered, is, it is also done by means of terminal bud. That means, axillary buds not only present in the present upon the stem, axillary buds not only present in the axils of the stem, axillary buds also present in the axils of the branches also, yes it is also present in the axil of the branches also and not only the terminal but it is not only present towards the tip of the main stem, it is also present towards the tip of the branches also. 
due to which the growth of the stem is done by means of a terminal bud and the horizontal growth of the branch is also done by means of a terminal bud and what happens means in this the shoot apical meristem can we call this one as can you call what is the main axis in shoot system main axis in shoot system it is nothing but stem main axis in shoot system it is nothing but stem stem it shows leaves it shows axillary bud it shows a terminal bud it shows branches it shows flowers it shows fruits and it shows seeds which are enclosed in the fruits seeds which are enclosed in fruits so can you tell me what are the important functions of the stem means not the stem not only produces branches it also produces leaves it also produces flowers it also produces fruits it also produces seeds that seeds they are enclosed inside the ovary that seeds that are enclosed inside the fruit that seeds that are enclosed inside the fruit and can you tell me what are that important functions of the stem here means the important functions of the stem it stores of food materials important functions of the stem it stores food materials and what is another important function means it also plays an important role in vegetative propagation not only the stem it plays an important role in storage of food materials it also plays an important role in vegetative propagation what is meant by vegetative propagation if any part of the plant if it is separated from the mother plant that separated part of the plant can grow as an individual plant and it also plays an important role in mechanical support and it also plays an important role in mechanical support yes it is also playing an important role in mechanical support and it also plays an important role in protection also and it also plays an important role in protection also that means these are the important functions which are performed by the stem that is nothing but storage of reserve food materials vegetative propagation mechanical support and protection is that clear so this is about these are about the functions of the stem and what is the so the stem itself it exposes which one here leaves it can exposes stem it can produces branch yes stem it can produces flowers on flowers on the main stem flowers on the branches yes stem it produces uh, fruits on the branches and fruits on the stems yes it produces and uh, likewise uh, many such characters can be seen here and now we are going towards uh, what are the stem modifications how many types of stem modifications can be seen in this it shows three types of stem modifications of that one it is nothing but uh, one it is nothing but uh, underground stem modification one it is nothing but which stem modification means uh, underground stem modification second one it is uh, aerial stem modification second one it is uh, aerial stem modification third one it is uh, sub aerial stem modification third one it is a sub aerial stem modification third one it is sub aerial stem modification now it means a stem modification they are classified they are shows how many types of stem modifications means three types of stem modifications one it is underground stem modification second one it is a aerial stem modification and third one it is a sub aerial stem modification